how easy is it for Chinese companies to use hosted model APIs from the US? Yeah, I mean, that's incredibly re- easy, right? Like OpenAI publicly stated DeepSeek uses their API. And as they say, they have evidence, right? And this is this is another element of the training regime is people at OpenAI have claimed that it's a distilled model, i.e. you're taking OpenAI's model, you're generating a lot of output, and then you're training on the output in their model. Um, and even if that's the case, what they did is still amazing, by the way, what DeepSeek did efficiency-wise. Distillation is standard practice in industry, whether or not, if you're at a closed lab where you care about terms of service and IP closely, you distill from your own models. If you are a researcher and you're not building any products, you distill from the OpenAI this models. This is a good opportunity. Can you explain big picture distillation as a process? What What is distillation? What's the We've process of distillation? We've talked a lot about training language models, they are trained on text. In post-training, you're trying to train on very high quality text that you want the model to match the features of, or if you're using RL, you're letting the model find its own thing. But for supervised fine tuning, for preference data, you need to have some completions what the model is trying to learn to imitate. And what you do there is instead of a human data or instead of the model you're currently training, you take completions from a different, normally more powerful model. I think there's rumors that these big models that people are waiting for, these GPT-5s of the world, the Claude 3 opuses of the world, are used internally to do this distillation process at There's OpenAI. also public examples, right? Like Meta explicitly stated, not necessarily distilling, but they used 405B as a reward model for 70B in their Llama 3.2 or yes. 3.3. This release. is all the same topic. So is this... Uh... Is this ethical? Is this legal? Like, why? Why is that uh, Financial Times article headline say OpenAI says that e- there's evidence that China's so, DeepSeek used its model to train competitor? This is a long, at least in the academic side and research side, has a long history because you're trying to interpret OpenAI's rule. OpenAI's terms of service say that you cannot build a competitor with outputs from their models. Terms of service are different than a license, which are essentially a contract between organizations. So if you have a terms of service on OpenAI's account, if I violate it, OpenAI can cancel my account. This is very different than like a license that says how you could use a downstream artifact. So a lot of it hinges on a word that is very unclear in the AI space, which is what is a competitor. And so, <laughs> and then the ethical aspect of it is like, why is it unethical for me to train on yeah. your model when you can train on the internet's text? Yeah. Right? So there's a bit of a hypocrisy because sort of open AI and, and pot- potentially most of the companies trained on the internet's text without permission. There's also a clear loophole, which is that uh, I generate data from OpenAI and then I upload it somewhere and then somebody else trains on it and the link has been broken. Like they're they're not under the same terms of service contract. This is this is why <laughs> there's a lot of hip hop. There's a lot of like to be discovered details that don't make a lot of sense. This is why a lot of models today, even if they train on zero OpenAI data, you ask the model who trained you, it'll say, "I was I am ChatGPT trained by OpenAI," mm-hmm. because there's so much copy paste of like OpenAI outputs from that on the internet that you just weren't able to filter it out. And in the and there was nothing in the RL where you, they implemented like, hey, like, or post-training or SFT, whatever that says, hey, I'm actually a model by Allen Institute instead of uh We OpenAI. have to do this if we serve a demo. We do research and we use OpenAI APIs because it's useful and we want to understand post-training and like our research models, they will say they're written by OpenAI unless we put in the system prop that we talked about that like, I am Tulu. I am a language model trained by the Allen Institute for AI. And if you ask more people around industry, especially with post-training, it's a very doable task to make the model say who it is or to suppress the open AI thing. So in some levels, it might be that DeepSeek didn't care that it was saying that it was by open AI. Like, if you're going to upload model weights, it doesn't really matter because anyone that's serving it in an application and cares a lot about serving is going to, when serving it, if they're using it for a specific task, they're going to tailor it to that. And it doesn't matter that it's saying it's ChatGPT. Oh, I guess, I guess the, one of the ways to do that is like a system prompt or something like that. Like the, if you're serving it to say that you're... That's what that's what we do. Like if we host the demo, you say you are Tulu 3, a language model trained by the Allen Institute for AI. We also are benefited from open AI data because it's a great research tool. I mean, do you think there's any any truth and value to the the, the claim, open AI's claim that there's evidence that China's DeepSeek used this model to train? I think... Everyone has benefited regardless because the data is on the internet um, and therefore you, it's in your per training now, right? There are like subreddits where people share the best chat GPT outputs and those are those are in your I think mo- that they're pre- trying to shift the narrative. Like they're trying to protect themselves and 
we saw this years ago when ByteDance was actually banned from some open AI APIs for training on outputs. There's other AI startups that most people, if you're in the like AI culture, were like, they just told us they trained on open AI outputs and they never got banned. Like that's how they bootstrapped their early models. So it's much easier to get off the ground using this than to set up human pipelines and build a strong model. So there's a long history here and a lot of the communications are seem like narrative control. Actually, like the over the last couple of days, we've seen a lot of people distill DeepSeek's model into Llama models because, <laughs> because mm-hmm. the DeepSeek models are kind of complicated to run inference on because mm-hmm. they're a mixture of experts and they're, you know, 600 bi- plus billion parameters and all this. And people have distilled them into the Llama models <laughs> and then because the Llama models are so easy to serve and everyone's Ooh. built the pipelines and tooling yeah. for inference with the Llama models, right? Because it's the open standard. Uh, so, you know, we've seen it. We've seen a sort of roundabout, right? Like, is it, is it bad? Is it illegal? Maybe it's illegal, whatever. I don't know about that. But like, it could is, break contracts. I don't think it's illegal, <laughs> like in any legal, like no one's going to jail for this. Ever. I, I think uh, like fundamentally, I think it's ethical or I, I hope it's ethical because like the moment it becomes, we ban that kind of thing, it's going to make everybody much worse off. And I also actually, it's, it's, this is difficult, but I think you should be allowed to train on the internet. I know a lot of authors and creators are very sensitive about it. That's that's a difficult question, but like the mo- the moment you're not allowed to train on the internet, I agree. I I, I have a schizo take on how you can solve this because right. it already works. <laughs> I have a reasonable <laughs> take. Out. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> all right, all right. So <laughs> so. <laughs> You know, Japan has a law which you're allowed to train on any training data and copyrights don't apply if you want to train a model. A. B. Japan has nine gigawatts of curtailed nuclear power. C. Japan is allowed under the AI diffusion rule to import as many GPUs as they'd like. Mm -hmm. So all we have to do, we we have a market here to make. We build massive data centers, we rent them to the labs, and then we train models in a legally permissible way and there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Mm -hmm. And now... The models have no like potential copyright lawsuit from New York Times or anything like that. Mm-hmm. No, no, it's just like completely legal. Yeah. No, so 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 genius. <laughs> the early copyright lawsuits have fallen in the favor of AI training. I would say that the long tail of use is gonna go in the side of AI, which is if you do if you scrape trillions of data, you're not looking at the trillions of tokens of data, you're not looking and saying this one New York Times article is so important to me. But if you're doing a audio generation for music or image generation and you say make it in the style of X person, mm-hmm. that's a reasonable case where you could figure out what is their profit margin on inference. I don't know if it's going to be the 50-50 of YouTube creator program or something, but I would opt into that program as a writer like please like like that like, it's just it's going to be a rough journey. But there will be some solutions like that that make sense, but there's a long tail where it's just on the internet. I think one of the other aspects of that Financial Times article implied, and so that leads to a more general question. Do you think there's, how difficult is uh, spying, espionage, and stealing of actual secret code and data from inside companies? How much of that is being attempted? Code and data is hard, but ideas is easy. Silicon Valley <laughs> operates yeah. on the idea on the way that top employees get bought out by other companies for a pay raise. And a large reason why these companies do this is to bring ideas with them. And uh, there are, there's no, I mean, in California, there's rules that like certain like non-competes or whatever are illegal in California. And whether or not there's NDAs and things, that is how a lot of it process happens. Recently, there was somebody from Gemini who helped make this 1 million context length and everyone is saying the next llama who I mean he went to the meta team is going to have 1 million context length and that's kind of how the world works. <laughs> you know, as far as like industrial espionage and things that has been greatly successful in the past, right? Um, you know, the Americans did it to the Brits, uh the Chinese have done it to the Americans, right? And you know, so on and so forth. It's just it is a fact of life. Um and so, like, to argue industrial espionage can be stopped is probably unlikely. You can make it difficult. But even then, like, there's all these stories about, like, hey, F- F-35 and F-22 have already been, like, sort of, like, given to China in terms of design plans and stuff. Um, code and stuff, like, between, you know, I say companies, not nation states, is probably very difficult. Um, but ideas are discussed a lot, right? Whether it be a par- house party in San Francisco or a company changing employees 
or you know or the you know the the always the like mythical honeypot that always gets talked about right like someone gets honeypotted right uh because everyone working on ai is a single dude who's in their 20s and 30s not everyone but like a insane amount of insane percentages um so there's always like all these like you know and and obviously uh, so honey pilot is like a, a spy a female spy approaches you and like yeah yeah <laughs> or, or or male right you know we, it's san francisco right but um <laughs> you know, as, oh. as a single dude i will say in, in his late 20s right is like we are very easily corrupted right like yeah. you know like not, not not corrupted myself but you know like yeah. we are we are right? everybody <laughs> else not me yeah, exactly, i'm exactly. too oblivious and i am not single so i'm safe from one espionage acts <laughs> yeah, you have to make sure to close all security vulnerabilities.